on the edge of a quiet country town, a summer oasis. So this is the first time we've opened the slide this summer. So in the 90s, Coolan was struggling to keep people in its district. Everyone got that? Yes! A local farmer set out to help, bequeathing the Shire one million dollars with one condition. It had to be spent on sport and recreation. We were looking for some way to promote the town because some of these towns are dying and some will still keep dying and we wanted to keep cooling one of the ones that kept going. A community survey generating a surprising request. The kids came back with they wanted a pool slide. The Shire found one for sale in Queensland. Four farmers drove over, trucked it back and reassembled it. It's the largest water slide in WA outside of Perth. Well, I don't know that we envisage it. We just bloody hope it would be a success. And it has for locals and visitors. At just $2 a day for children, four for adults, the slide attracts visitors from all over the southwest. I live in Perth. You've come yeah. down from Perth? Yeah, coming down from Perth, yeah. Yeah, no, I came to countryside before. Coolan is now a benchmark for small communities struggling to remain viable. The slide is just one of a string of survival strategies. From bush races to a community-run bank, helping boost the town's population, attracting business and new families like the smokers. I don't know whether Coolan is ever on people's radar as a, a destination to live or to visit, but I think once people do arrive here and they feel themselves becoming part of the community, that's when they, they make that decision. A community that understands what goes around, comes around. Mark Bennett, ABC News. Cooling.